Well, hello everybody. We Paddy from Across the Shock, and uh, this is another one in the part of my series of my whole collection. And this is my small knives. As you all know, I love little small knives. Although I'm getting very close to the limit of what I want, I maybe um, switch a few of these out, send them off to people or whatever. But I'm getting the the, the maximum now of them. Uh, I, I love small knives. I love to carry a small knife in my pocket as a secondary knife. I love the traditional knives. I'm just getting into traditional. I haven't got many. They're on this side here and I'll leave them to the end. The rest of these, I'm just going to be honest, some of them are genuine models. There's some of them that are knockoffs. There's a couple of Spyderco knockoffs here. Um, clothes you bought off AliExpress. And I use them for size comparisons. I don't even do that very often, to be honest with you. Um, but they're there, and they're not very good. They're not great knockoffs. But, you know what I mean, they do just for size comparisons. You know, when I want to say something like a dragonfly, I've got a wee dragonfly there. It's not very good. There's no great, you know, hold on it. The back lock works, but not wonderfully. But let's just run through them, because I don't want this to be a big, long video. They're just small knives. So we'll run through them. Now, these ones on this, the top half here, uh, let's start with this one, which is one of my little favourites. This is from um, Gearbest, and this is their their mini, uh, I don't know what we, they're just wee mini knives. And a lot of them are copies of other big brands that cost, like something like this would cost a couple of hundred, three hundred pounds. I will never pay that much for something like this. These are knockoffs. But they've supposedly got S35VN steel on them. I don't know. I know it's sharp, but I have never worked with it long enough to know whether it lasts that long or not. I don't know. I Some say it is, some say it doesn't really matter. To me, it's a beautiful little knife. It's a secondary knife. It has done everything that I've wanted it to do. It's um, a frame lock. It's so well made. It is beautiful. Lovely anodized bronzed titanium uh, handles. So... It's it's lovely to me. It's beautiful. Uh, this is another one, and half of these I don't even know what the real name of the the companies are that do them, but they just I they just appeal to me. There's something appealing about them. Um, this is another lovely one, and it sort of matches when I'm doing my photographs. They match. I mean, I'm not really what they're being used for. This is another one. Now is the wee slip joint. Um, this is a great box cutter, you know, box opener, letter opener. It's a smashing little knife. Titanium, these, the, the, the three of these, they're all titanium and S35VN. Whether it's right or not, I'll leave you to decide. To me, they're, they seem like it so far anyway. So, and then we have the wee dragonfly. I mean, this wee thing cost about eight pound on uh, AliExpress. So I know it's not going to be a great value. It's probably 8CR13 if it is that. But it does, you know, you can get a really, it's a very sharp edge on it. And, you know, if need be, I can use it because there's a, a, a choke up here and I have used it for bits and pieces around the house. But it's only for light work because it weighs next to nothing. And it's the back lock. This is one of my favourite little ones. This is a San Ramu. And this has... Um, the most beautiful blade shape and it's also got carbon fiber now it's the thinnest wee sheet stuck on top of the metal on both sides but it's lovely when i'm using my bigger knives that have the carbon fiber to have this with this lovely sort of sheet footy end here um absolutely love it really nice wee knife great cutter too it's just a slip joint now here's another little sand remove and this will be, this is a lovely little San Ramu. Um, again, this is a, a slip joint, but this is like a wee razor. It really is just like a razor. But the nice thing is you can get your finger up there and it means the blade will not close on you. You can stop the blade. But it's very, the detent on it is really good. But it's lovely. And I got it to go with my sliver. So when I'm taking pictures, I have something orange to go with my sliver. Most of these I buy with the intention to match them with another one of my bigger knives. <laughs> this hobby would drive you mad. Um, this was one of my first knives. Uh, this is one the kids got me. No, this is the wife got me this. Uh, the wee ladybug. And the, if I could show you this up close, 
It is so well used and scratched. I'm probably not going to get it in the light. But it is. It's so well used. It's sharpened to a razor. I love it. Really do use this an awful lot. Especially in my trackies. And it's a lockback, the wee lady. Now, this is another one. This is a Beetle one. This is from Gearbest again. But I got this one because I love a clip point. It's got the Beetle on the front. But it's got a lock back and it is solid. It's stainless steel throughout. But look at that clip. How beautiful is that little clip point for the detail in it. And I mean, I think this cost me £3. But the detail and the swedges, it really is a stunning little knife. I have given so many of these away because people say, oh, I love that. I love that. And I keep buying another one and then somebody else likes it and they give it away. But they are lovely little knives. Okay, up to the top here. These are the bigger ones of my... This is a brother one that you've just seen. Uh, this is the 1501, which is a big work knife. Lovely big knife. Lovely in hand. Solid lock back. Absolutely beautiful. And it's 440C on this, which is great for a, uh, a pocket knife. Love that. Beautiful, beautiful. G10 handles. There's a review on that as well. This is another one. I don't think I've done a review on this yet. This was given to me by one of, one of my subscribers who didn't want his name. He gave me quite a few wee knives. This is a, a Boker Housen. And it was named, sorry, it was named after a man who worked for Boker, a designer, for years and years. And when he died, they, they made this knife for him. And uh, his name's on the other side here. And it was a limited run. And it was, oh gosh, I can't remember now. Where is it? Does it say it? I don't think it does. But I must do a review on this because it was a limited run. I think it was only 200 made. And it is a beautiful slip joint. Really is beautiful. You can get right up on it. And it's so stiff. I mean, it really is. It'll not close on you because you've got the little uh, forward choil there. Well, it's not a forward choil, but it's a notch that stops you You're going up. Beautiful, beautiful knife. This is another one of mine. This, I'm not sure whether this is a, a UK PK or a Cali. I don't know what it's meant to be taken off. I just know I bought it for something that was going to be that size. That was a slip joint. It's got a forward choil, so I'm not cut myself. And that's why I buy it. I mean, once, as long as it's safe, they're cheap knives. I'm not going to take any risks. It's got the lovely deep pocket clip on it. Really nicely made. Good G10. But... It's not great and the bottom of it tends to rub on the inside or that lands on the bottom. If you slam it down, it will blunt it eventually. Now, this one's the Windrunner. This is another little San Remu that doesn't flick out fully, but that's enough. This I have become very fond of this last week. I've used the heck out of this last week around the house. This is gorgeous. Now, this is a slip joint too. This has the wee tool on the top, the bottle opener and a screwdriver. But it's one solidly built wee knife. You, you could probably get away with using this all day long. It really is a solid little knife, solid blade, but two and a half mil thick blade. But really, really good. Lovely blade shape for cotton. Love it. Absolutely love it. I've fallen for this one. And the next one is an amplitude, a Kershaw amplitude, which was given to me by my, my mate over a blue collar survival, Justin. This is just the most beautiful. I don't know why. I've, I don't, maybe it's a really, really old one. I haven't. But he got Paddy's potato peelers put on it for me. And to be honest, I'm using it. I was going to just put it to the side. But it's such a lovely knife. Watch this coming out. Bump. It is absolutely. I love it. I love having it in my pocket. So I've been using it and carrying it a couple of days. Um, and I'm sure he won't mind. All knives are for using. So uh, I love that now. Lovely little Kershaw. I have been really blessed. The Kershaws that I've got are great. I haven't had a bad one yet. So all these people talking about Kershaws. This is one of my little. This is one Tony Meter. Was this Tony Meter? I think this was Tony Meter. Give me this one. There's gunge in it. Look, my knife do get used, so the holes can be filled with all sorts of gunge. This is a Tucson. And this is one beautiful little D2 blade. A real gem of a little knife. Really is a gem. 
and it's a frame lock. There's a wee clip on it if you'd ever use it. But it just is an absolute stunner. So that's it. That's one of my better wee ones. Now we'll come over to this side and this is my traditional side. And I'll start with this. This is a Joseph, I can't remember what his name, um, Joseph Rogers. And this is the British military issue wee one. It's a wee slim. They actually gave this to the man that, that gave me this. And it was the son of a man who was in the army out in the Falklands. And when they had to sleep outside in their tents, they gave them, they were all issued with these so that they could slice the tent open and get out quickly if they had to. You know, if they're attacked or whatever. That's why they were issued this wee knife. So it was it's in perfect condition. Uh absolutely lovely. And uh, a wee story behind every knife goes well. This is a rough rider, and this is it's it's not a toothpick. Forgotten the name of it. I knew I would forget one of them. But I use this as my steak knife. Um I have to sharpen it every time after I've had a steak because on the on a delf plate it just blunts it. The steel on it is, it's 440 razor sharp. But after I've eaten the steak, you know, a good size steak, I just resharpen it and it's ready for the next time. But it's a lovely nice, it's a lock back. So it's nice to eat my steak. This is another little beauty. Same fella, he didn't want to be um, his name to be called out. This is 440C. This is a boker. An absolutely beautiful little, and it is a little knife. Um, really, really beautiful. I just love it. And it's lovely to carry as a wee secondary blade. And you could even carry it with a bigger, and it will get up to one of my bigger traditionals. You could carry it as a secondary blade to them. But a lovely knife. Uh, that's, you know, that's one of my little prized possessions, that. This is... You can call it a buck knife. This is a wood. It's a stockman. Um, three blades. All. Now it says these are 440. I think it says they were. I don't know how true that is. It's made in China. Oh. It's a stockman. I'm not going to pull it all out. But. It cost me £4 I think. And it genuinely is a lovely, lovely knife. It really is. Just the business. And look at that. Look at the back spring and all. I mean, it's just, you know, for what you can get. I love little bargains like that. This is the knife that the um, nicest knife sent me. Uh, one of my favourites. This is a case. And it's the, uh, I cut myself on that. Blimmin' cheap one. <laughs> this is the case trapper. And I just love it. It's the two blades, the spay blade and the, the clip blade here. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I say beautiful, beautiful an awful lot, don't I? This is another one for this fella that gave me this. He gave me about four wee knives. And this is a sod buster. And this is an AJ Russell sod buster. And the reason I like this one so much, it's a very fat blade. Look how thick that blade is compared to a lot of them. This is a real thick blade. Look at the stock on the back of it, you know. That's about two and a half mil. It's good and sturdy. Um, but a real great wee work knife. So you can, you can put this wee poker with this and take them and they will do you for your work all day. And last but not least, Baz on Blades, my old mucker, sent me this is a full size trapper and we'll take the spray blade out this time. Look at the size of that big bugger. That there would be great with this as a secondary knife. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the Rough Rider again. And Rough Rider, if you're just trying to get into, um, like I was when you were trying to get into traditional knives, Rough Rider makes some really great offerings of traditional knives and patterns that you can have a look at and see whether you like them or not. Uh, at very, very reasonable prices. So folks, that's my wee knives. The next lot will be my uh, knives that I've forgotten because I know there's a couple of knives I've forgotten and then it'll be my high-end knives. They maybe not be other people's high-end but they're my high-end knives and uh, the knives that are the, the, the top of my collection so far. Now, the ones that have been given are all very, very special. 
The ones that I buy aren't. <laughs> They're just ones that I've bought. But the ones that I've been given are very special. So when I say that these are my high end, the special, they're no more special than this book group would be. They're no more special than this wee cheap army knife would be. But other people's opinions, they would be of a better quality. To me, if something's given to you with patty potato tape peelers on it, you know, that goes way above what a benchmate is because that's mine and my initials are my name on it and my channel and I just love something like that. So, there you go. I think that's a, a great wee collection. I like putting them when I'm taking my pictures and that's basically what it's for. I'm not going to collect a whole lot more of them. I would like to change them and like change some of the Rough Riders for maybe a better, a better brand or a better make because I do want to go up that traditional line a bit. I don't know how far I want to go up it, but I do want to go up a bit. And some of these other ones, you know, if I get real ones of Delicas, or not Delicas, of, um, you know, a Dragonfly, if I can get one on the secondary market or something, I'll buy one, get rid of that. So I'm just... But it's not because I, I'm ashamed of this, because this is great, I use this for comparisons, and it's too dear to buy. This would cost me about £70 over here. I mean, I, I know some of you realise that, but I wouldn't pay £70 for a wee knife like that. Not at all, you know, I just wouldn't. Um, so, yes, they've been great, and if I get some, we don't have a great secondary market over here, so, you know, you sort of stuck with what you've got. So there you go, folks. That's my knives. I'm not going to hang about. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, I need a cup of tea. Bye-bye.